E aí, pessoal? Tudo certo? It's Eliochi here again. And today, I'm gonna cook you another fantastic dish from Brazil. This time, we're making a dessert. Or in Brazil, a sobremesa. Extra doce. The plan is to make pudim de leite condensado. So, let's get there and do it right away. Vamos lá. Pudim originated in Europe and is better known as creme caramel. It is a simple milk-based dish that restaurants found to be easy to prepare and less likely to spoil if not consumed immediately. People in tropical regions were especially attracted to these qualities. However, they traditionally found it very difficult to transport and store fresh milk in the heat. This changed when the industrial method of preserving milk through evaporation, adding sugar and then canning became available. Condensed milk became the hero of the tropics. In Brazil, condensed milk was very popular and chefs discovered it to be perfect in desserts. Out of this was born a tropical friendly creme caramel renamed Pujim de Leche Condensado. Pujim is perhaps one of the easiest desserts you can possibly make because it only has a few ingredients. It's almost impossible to ruin. All you need are four eggs, two cans of condensed milk, then refilled for fresh milk, and vanilla, which I'll discuss a bit more depth later. Pujim is so good because you don't need to mix anything. All you do is use a blender. So, mix everything in, starting with your four eggs. Then, go ahead and pour in your two cans of condensed milk. After that, reuse the cans and fill them up with the milk. Pour in two cans worth. Now we're gonna add the vanilla. I've decided to use a vanilla bean for this. Vanilla beans have a lot more vibrant, rich flavor than their artificial essence. As you can see, just cut it open and using a knife, scrape the seeds out and just push it into the mix. And that's all you need to do to make the mix. Now just put the lid on and press blend. So you really want to blend it for about a minute to make sure everything is perfectly mixed. The more air, the more fluffy. Now for a perfect dark caramel sauce, just pour a cup and a half of sugar into a saucepan on medium heat and just stir until it's melted, as I've done right here. And always remember, simple is best. Now, locate your chosen former and pour the caramel sauce into the bottom of it while it's still hot. It's important it must be hot, otherwise it will turn hard into candy. Now just even it out, nice and smooth. Pour the mixture over the top of the caramel, but not too soon, because you don't want it to burn. Put the lid on and go preheat the oven for baking. My friends and I like a well-baked pudgeon, so we put on a fan-forced oven at a high heat of 200 degrees Celsius. Now go ahead and throw the pudgeon in to cook. Okay, so traditionally I'd place the baking container into a bain-marie of water to help regulate and moderate the cooking so it doesn't burn the caramel. But because I'm using glass, it's not really that necessary. Also, I prefer a slightly more well-cooked pujim. So this is all done on purpose, don't worry. At a high heat, you really don't need to cook it that much longer than 30 minutes. Use the browning process as a guide. The darker the pujim becomes, the more firm it is. If you want it softer, just don't cook it as long. Hoo-ha, it's done. Let's see how this thing turned out. Mmm, perfeito. Muito bom. Now, just put in the fridge for a few hours and wait. All right, the pujim is now chilled. It's been in the fridge for a while and it's ready to come out. When cold, it'll slide out of the bowl much, much easier. If it still gets a bit stuck, just use a sharp knife and cut around the edges. Removing the pujim from the bowl can be considered tricky by some people, but if you see here, it's actually not that hard. All you need is a good grip, a lot of space, and let gravity do the rest. Oh yeah, all you saw, isso. 
That is perfect color, exactly how it should come out. Beautiful. When you eat pujim, it's also really nice to have with coffee. Perfect afternoon tea. My neighbors could smell the fragrance of caramel and coffee wafting through the hallways. And here is the final product. A rich, silky Pujim de Leche Condensado. Here's a little secret. I actually made this Pujim for a friend's birthday, but it looks so good that I couldn't resist and having a slice now. But all good, I'll make her another one later. Shh. O Pujim tem um gosto bom. Eu vou provar e dizer a você. Mmm, gostoso, very, very good. Mm. So that's my Pujim. I hope you enjoyed watching how it's made and you'll be inspired to go make one yourself. As you saw, it's very easy and very, very tasty. Now, I did promise that I was gonna make another Pujim for my friend's birthday, and I did. And here's some footage from the party. Enjoy guys, ciao. Lawrence, what do you think of this pujim? It's amazing. It's yeah? delicious, no. really, really no. like it. Is it like Brazil? Totally like Brazil, 100%. Ah, that's fantastic, good yeah. to hear. Good? Caprichou ah. Eliot. How can I say enjoy in Portuguese? Aproveite. Aproveite. That's it, aproveite. <laughs> Mais um cafezinho. Saúde.